Okay, Matthew Swinnerton here from Event Santa Cruz, and I am here with... Heather. Tabitha. From where? Friend and Cheese's Jam Company. It's like you guys work together or oh, something. Sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, let's start off with what that is. Like, what was the genesis of Friends and Cheese Jam Jazz, Jam Company? I'll never say it right. Yeah. Friend in Cheese's Jam, Jam Company yeah. started almost a decade ago from, uh, came into fruition, no pun intended, from me working with local wineries and a deep history in Santa Cruz being a chef and felt that there was a complete gap or brit that needed to be bridged in the pairing universe to represent our region and the terroir or sense of place of Santa Cruz and Monterey County. So what do you two do? Like, what are like the roles? Like, what's like, you know, yeah, what does Heather Mom do? What does Tabitha do? <laughs> is, is that true, Heather? <laughs> yes, that's very true. I'm mean, the mother that reels her in and keeps her sane. And yes. I like that you guys both agree on that. So it's obviously true. <laughs> Someone, yeah. It's so true. Yeah. <laughs> so, so what do you do? I mean, like, so you have the jam. You got in, got, does it, is it in a retail store? Is it online? Like, where do you get your jam out to the world? We are in a number, we're in Whole Foods in two different regions. Regions, Whole Foods has many regions. We're in the Mid-Atlantic region and the Northern California region. Okay. But for all those people in between there, they can get it on Amazon. Mm -hmm. We're on Amazon Prime, so anybody can order it and deliver it right to their home. And um, about 20 something states. Yeah. I mean, we could be considered a nationally yeah. distributed brand, we're in Texas, yeah. but it's a daily growth process um, and a struggle because we are up against the four main food producers that feed most of America and Smuckers we're after you. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you how do you compete with Smuckers then? Hmm. Um, making a niche okay. and uh, right making now, a better product making a better product yeah. we work alongside um, a lot of local organic farmers uh, we are focusing on our drought responsibility project which is six flavors in our profile and we are working with farmers that utilize good practices and only utilizing fruits and vegetables that are low water consuming or dry farmed. Mm -hmm. so. so where I think we separate ourselves from yeah. the herd is our ethics. Our food ethics um, is a definite forefront of our product line from the recycled glass to working directly with small local farms and also the conservation efforts um, and helping the public make good decisions mm -hmm. about their food, not only what's in the jar, but the decision of where we came from of why we chose some of the fruits and vegetables um, that we do include because Water is precious. It does not discriminate. If we do not have water, we are all in a bad place. And so we feel it is our duty as stewards um, of mother nature to help educate and protect by rad products that are multi-dimensional. I don't want them just on toast or even just on a cheese board. Mm. I want people to think beyond the jar and think of them as jars of possibilities from cocktails to glazing ribs um, in a sandwich, um, a salad dressing, but real estate in a pantry for a lot of us in Northern California. Mm. We have small kitchens. I want yeah. that jar to mean something beyond the PB&J. And uh, um, when somebody opens up a jar, I want them to feel our company represents our rad, diverse region of agriculture and the deep history of agriculture in uh, the yeah. Central Coast region. Yeah. And she helps get that message out clear and um, concise and I pump it away in the kitchen. <laughs> so you guys do actually have, it's not just a mother and daughter role. <laughs> yeah, you actually do have, have, have like responsibilities, yeah. Yeah. So, okay, what is what like excites you about what you do? Like when you wake up in the morning, I know there, it's a grind, it's, there's a lot of work involved, but there's a reason why you guys do this. It got, there's there's some excitement I know so what is that what is that excitement what is that passion that you guys have for what you do me I feel it is a deep deep place in myself that I feel it is about the best way I can express agape 
that love that, that does not, not have a rhyme or reason or need or a want. It is just there because food is love. It is the one thing that bridges all of us human beings together. Yeah. We all have a relationship with food, good, bad, sideways or otherwise, but that is our binding, that is our glue, that is yeah. the jam <laughs> <laughs> that um, connects us. And yeah. I think that's what makes me excited, mm -hmm. um, especially when I see a jar from a friend in New Hampshire, holding up that jar, taking a picture, and it blows my mind. We touched that jar. Yeah, yeah. it's funny. I, yeah. It's a it's yeah, a it's that. a satisfying feeling that um, we are helping. I hope our nation to look beyond the usual suspects of the food industry and start to feel that they can uh, taste the regions of the United States. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have worlds around us mm -hmm. in just these fifty-one states. So yep. I think for me, that yeah. is my Heather. What do you got, girl? Well, you I was going to say the same thing, bringing, thing, bringing people together. Mm -hmm. Like, it's really fun that we have a product that's, we love happy hour, right? <laughs> so we bring, the, we bring the cheese board with the jams, and it's bringing people together. And, and also the uniqueness of flavors and the profile that we have created, that it's yeah. always, a, people are always asking questions. Like, what is this tomato, jelly, what, vinegar? Then they have it, and, and they're like, this is amazing. It's amazing. amazing. Yeah. And so it's like bridging that gap and getting people to try new things and getting away from the traditional strawberry jam. You know what yeah. I mean? Like getting them to actually think about what's in the jar and what, what they find that pairs with it with. and. It's just, it's like, it's a conversation in a yeah. jar. It's just, it brings people together. I like that, a conversation in a jar, which yes. it is, yeah. And there's yeah. no wrong answers. We <laughs> no. learn daily from yeah. uh, uh, um, from customers and fans and friends of how they've utilized it, which also initiates conversation. Mm -hmm. People start talking, then they yeah. start talking about the food. Then they start asking mm -hmm. questions. Why is that label blue? Why is there a little water droplet on your mini jars? Mm -hmm. And then that gets us the opportunity to talk about the ethics of agriculture yeah. and why it's important to have a feel and an opinion um, about um, the food that you put in your body yes. and being part of that party. Yeah. Okay, so if somebody wants to get their hands, their mouth around this jam, where do they go? Locally. What's the best way? Locally? New Leaf. New Leaf, okay. Whole Foods. Central markets in Texas. <laughs> Can they also buy it online? Like I said, so Amazon go to like Prime. Amazon. Yeah. yeah. And our we retail yeah. store on okay. our website. Not everything's available on Amazon. So. Okay. So you retail, like what's your website? Friendincheeses.com. Dot com. Okay. AJ's Market, Deluxe Foods. Um, uh, and we are also starting a co-packing program with uh, oh, yeah. wineries and uh, breweries. breweries. Santa cool. Cruz Mountain Farm Brewery. Farmers. We've got the IPA Big Dippa yeah. Jelly. Yeah. We mm -hmm. just did Acid Cabin, the uh, sour Coralitas. beer from Coralitas. Oh, wow. We also mm -hmm. produced it for Condors, uh, Condors Run. Run Winery mm -hmm. and Bonnie Dune um, Vineyards. We're trying to figure yeah. out yeah. which wine we're going to utilize. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're in the beginning talks with another winery of doing a dry farm to Zinfandel uh, jelly for our yeah. drought responsible mm -hmm. part of the just the heart and soul of our region is our wine history so we really are excited about yeah, um, that fun. program as See, well there's an excitement piece right there I'm sorry you're making me tired just thinking about all you guys <laughs> like do you have a like an army of people <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or is it just you? Yeah, yeah, it's just she, us. yeah. We you, got, you two team, are now. We, yeah. we have we a team. team. Yeah. It's small, but it's mighty. We do. Yeah. It's passionate, mm. and we work long hours. We work really hard, and it's growing every day. Yeah, the team's getting a little bigger. I'm getting to be able to be out of the kitchen a little bit more, That's so nice. Heather and I can. Um, you know, be faces pitch, yeah. of the company yeah. more yeah. so than uh, the grunt behind the pot. Mm -hmm. um, that, that sounded really that weird. The <laughs> it sounds perfectly <laughs> fine. I visualize that picture of you I on apologize. that chair, stirring the pot. <laughs> 
<laughs> you are the faces behind. Yeah, yeah. Great. Well, thank you so much. You guys are such an inspiration. I think feel like you guys are also an inspiration to all the other foodies in town because you guys have been doing it for a while. You understand how to, and even like the regulations, the license, all that stuff. Yeah. You guys are like on top of things. Yeah. So anyway. But that blows our mind because we, <laughs> because we are so inspired by everyone around us. We are yeah. so proud of the, um, the new up and coming food mm -hmm. companies. We know the blood, sweat, tears, yeah. and pain yeah. that it yeah. takes, and there's not a huge return. This is not no, a big bucks industry. Yeah. Margins are slim yeah. when you have ethics. Yeah. <laughs> but, you guys got to stop doing that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Great. I'm not selling my soul. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Okay, Thank well, you. Call, we are so love to have the interview with you, call, and um, call, we'll be going to the shelves and buying some jam. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you. you so much, Matthew, for having us. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, and you want to see more, why don't you subscribe to our channel? We would really appreciate it. And also, make sure you turn on your notifications, because then if you do, you'll be the first one to actually see our video. And lastly, again, if you like the video, why don't you like the video? Okay, thank you very much.